Tsiu Marpo is a figure that we haven't really talked too much about in the past, but Tsiu Marpo is a worldly protector of uh, Tibetan Buddhism and kind of pan Himalayan and Mongolian. So Tsiu Marpo is male. He has warrior appearance, rides a horse, um, quite wrathful in appearance. He, he can be red, but he can also be maroon in color. It really depends on the artist. Now, the liturgies will, will, will be more specific about, about the color, uh, body color, about his horse, also having a red dog. And then he holds, generally he holds a spear with a flag on it in the right hand, a flag attached to the upper part. And in the left hand, he typically holds a heart. He also is uh, sometimes accompanied by his six brothers. So in total, there's seven brothers. Now, the really important thing to know about Tsu Marpo is he did not become popular until really the 17th century, and he was not really uh, introduced to Buddhism until the 16th century uh, by Ngari Penchen, this uh, famous uh, Nyingma teacher from West Tibet, from the Ngari province. So, we, we really do find art only after the, really, the, uh, the 16th century. We don't have any early art. Uh, also, the origins are a little bit obscure. Now, from a Buddhist point of view, then the origins are not obscure because they belong to a, a cycle of revealed treasure and it has an origin myth uh, that, that is said to go back uh, several thousand years. And so the, so the story from the religious context side is there. But from the art history side, no, it's not there. From the art history side, we're really only seeing this uh, figure of Tsiu Marpo as a Tsen deity, a, a warrior deity. In, in, in Textually, we're really only seeing it in the 16th century. But where is that coming from? Well, I think the clue really does lie in the 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 teacher, Ngari Penchen, and, and his title, and the fact that, that they're calling him the great Penchen, the great scholar of Ngari. So he's coming from Ngari. And, and a small region in the western province, which is now located in Nepal now, is Mustang. And the, the capital of Mustang and the royal family of Mustang, they have a particular protector, uh, uh, Tsengo Trakpa Gelsen, and this is Bumpo, and and this deity actually belong is the is the spirit, the mountain spirit of the mountain immediately to the west of Lomantang, the the city Lomantang, the town, the village. So, and and this predates Ngari Pension. We also have other uh, Bumpo protector deities that are similar. So it's very possible that Siu Marpo's actual origins uh, are from, well, they are from, we know they're from West Tibet, but it's an adaptation of a Bun protector and very likely that Sengo Trakpa Gyaltsen from Mustang. So we're just, just touching a little bit on, on Siu Marpo and about how religious uh, context and religious studies uh, and religious history can be very different from, from art history in how you analyze uh, the material and how you uh, kind of reframe the story. So don't forget, press the like button. You can also subscribe and you can also help support uh, Har on Patreon by joining Patreon.